The goal all year for the Homestead girls basketball team was to make it back to Bankers Life Fieldhouse. That goal achieved, and now the eyes are on the real prize. Homestead a win away from earning their first state title in program history. The Spartans playing Pike in the 4A state championship game. This is Homestead's second trip to state in the last three years. This senior core was sophomores their last trip down, and that experience paying off early. Carissa McLaughlin gets rolling from three-point range. That actually from NBA three-point range. Another one of those seniors on that 2015. Madison Parker with the three-point basket. Homestead up 13-8 after one. Second quarter, it's McLaughlin going baseline. Gets the tough shot to fall, but Pike with an answer to just about everything. It's Jada Robertson driving. Gets the floater to rattle around, but just before half. Jasmine Geist on the bench in foul trouble, but no problem as Cindy Graver gets it on the second effort and one. Homestead with a 30-27 lead at half. Third quarter, McLaughlin once again gets the short jumper for two, but Pike with another answer back. Kennedy Gerard with the basket. Homestead with just a three-point lead heading to the fourth. Fourth quarter, Madison Parker, you leave her wide open. She's going to knock down three. She had five of them tonight. Homestead up by four. That is McLaughlin, who absolutely went off tonight. 29 points. But Pike constantly countering. Another jumper here, but Homestead going to start to pull away down the stretch. It's Taryn Klein with a nice bounce pass down to Haley. Swing with the shot. And then Jasmine Geist, the senior. She had eight points and 12 rebounds as Homestead comes back to Bankers Life Fieldhouse and takes care of unfinished business. The Spartans, your four-way state champs with a 61-54 win over Pike. Tonight, a historic one for Homestead, their first state title in girls basketball. News Channel 15's Andy McDonald was at the game. He joins us live from Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Andy, what an unbelievable game. Hey Jess, it's mission accomplished. While excitement, joy, and well, a kick of adrenaline were the overwhelming emotions following the Homestead's 61-54 victory in the 4A state title game over Pike. There was also candidly a, well, a sense of relief. They had this dream. They tried to achieve this goal and fueled by 46 combined points from McLaughlin and Parker while well, they achieved that dream. I can't believe it. Uh, I'm so proud of all my teammates for coming out and playing such a strong game. You know, we kept our composure the entire game. This is what we've been working towards, and knowing that Homestead finally got that state title is such an incredible feeling. You know, this has been a goal for us for a long time. And, you know, coming into this year, we really thought we had a team that, you know, could get here and get the job done and to, you know, get down in that last couple seconds and know we had the win was just a great feeling. Oh, it was just adrenaline rushing straight through my body. It was a great feeling knowing that I could end my career on a state championship. It really hasn't set in, but the funny thing is I really preach with the kids all week is I said it's just another big game yeah. and you know two years ago I think we had a lot of hype around this we'll be excited to be here this group was on a mission and was very very focused and I kept telling them it's just another game in a big arena and a lot of it I think is probably a little bit of a relief right now with the expectations we've had this year and, and the big games we played in and I'm just extremely excited for this team and the seniors. And what a moment for head coach Rod Parker to celebrate with his daughters Madison and Riley. And also, what a bragging rights for senior Jasmine Geist. Her brother won a state title with Homestead a few years ago, and that was a, well, a little bit of added motivation for them as they take their first state title in program history. From Bankers Life Fieldhouse, I'm Andy McDonald, News Channel 15.